Hi there! In this short video I will show you how to easily create a walkthrough animation of your Revit project. So turn on notifications, subscribe and let's get started. In a previous video we talked about adding cameras and creating 3D perspective renders. I have included the link for that video tutorial in the description. Now we will use multiple cameras to create a walkthrough animation video. So open your project in Revit and from the project browser select and open a floor plan view. We're going to use the first floor for this example to add our cameras. So to create our first walkthrough animation from the menu at the top select the view tab and under the 3d view button select walkthrough now the software is waiting for us to specify locations for all our cameras around the building for creating the animation but first let's have a look at a few options uh, we want our cameras to give us a perspective view of the building you can always turn it off and change the scale as well, but we do want perspective view. Uh, our cameras will be located at an eye level from the first floor. We can change the reference floor, but I will keep it first floor for the moment. So all of our cameras will be located at a 1.75 approximately eye level uh, viewpoint from the first floor. So let's start adding our cameras. Click once and the first camera is located at this point and now I'm going to select the second point for my second camera. As you can see the two cameras are joined together with a blue line. This is the path the video will use to create the animation. Second point and you can see by adding the third point the path is starting to take shape. So third camera, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seven, ca seven cameras. I've added seven cameras in total. So if we're happy with this uh, animation setup, go ahead and click finish walkthrough. So the first thing we need to do is change the orientation of each camera and point each camera to the correct point onto our building. To do this under the modify cameras tab click edit walkthrough and now you can see with red dots are all of our cameras, our seven cameras. The last camera is currently selected and there's a red, a small red dot and a triangle indicating the orientation and where the camera is looking at. So we need to rotate the camera to the correct position. Just click on the red dot and drag it towards the building, holding the left mouse clicked. Release the button. And uh, we also want to change the depth of our view to include the whole building. So we've just fixed the orientation of one of our cameras. This was the last camera on the path. To move on to the next camera, on the menu at the top, click Previews Keyframe. And the uh, second to the last camera has been selected. The same way, click and hold the red circle and rotate the camera towards the building. Doing the same for all the cameras. And this is my first camera of the path rotated towards the corner of the building. As you can see at the menu at the top, we are controlling cameras and we are frame, we are at frame one out of 300 frames. If you click on the properties panel where it says walkthrough frames, it shows the number of all, all the frames that are being used for this uh, video. Just click on it just quickly to have a look at a uh, few of the options we have. Um, our video will have 15 frames per second. We can change this to 24 frames per second. 
hit apply. So the video will be created with 24 frames per second and it has a total of 300 frames. Therefore, the program already calculated that the duration of the whole video will be approximately 12 seconds. If we change the number of total frames to 500 and hit apply, our video will have a duration of 20 seconds. Now, the more frames I'm adding, the slower the animation will be, less frames will be faster. I would leave it at 500 frames for the moment with 24 frames per second. This option is selected uniform speed. Basically what it does, it keeps the same speed of the camera between each frame, each uh, camera key point. So now that we've set up our cameras, oriented them towards the correct position and checked the number of frames and the speed of the video, we can go ahead and click on open walkthrough. A new window will open similar to the camera rendering window. And we are ready to hit play and watch our first walkthrough animation. Now the video is uh, following the cameras from the first to the second to the third up to the last, following the path between the cameras using 24 frames per second with a total of 500 frames. And it will take approximately 20 seconds to do the whole, to cover the whole path. A few more things we can change. Click on Modify Cameras, go to the Plan View first, Modify Cameras. Now notice we are controlling the cameras for the moment. So by selecting frame by frame, next frame, we can rotate each camera, change the depth of each camera and rotate each camera. The other thing we can uh, change Instead of controlling the cameras, control the path, select control path. And now we have blue dots in place for each camera. And if we want to change the path, for instance, we want this camera to be come closer to the building. And this one to come closer and this one to go further back. We have changed the path of the video. Let's have a look what changes we have made. Go back to the walkthrough panel window, click play. You see the camera getting closer to the building, moving away. I want to change the camera's position and the path as it were before. and have a look again at our walkthrough. You may have noticed I'm using the hidden visual style. I'm not using any shaded or realistic colors. I'm not even using shadows for the animation because um, by adding shadows, and realistic colors every frame will have to be rendered and it will take a lot of time for the program to complete all 500 renders of 100 frames depending on your machine it can take hours so it's best to keep the animation without shadows and at the hidden visual style so once we're happy with our animation if we want to export this uh, video into an AVI format, click on the File tab on the menu, Export, scroll down and select Images and Animations, Walkthrough. We want all frames to be exported, our video to include all frames, or we can select a range between from, from two range of uh, frames. We want all frames to be included in the video and click 
OK. It will ask where we want our video to be saved. I will just name it video, click save, and the program will start rendering each frame one by one to create the video. So let's do a quick review of the process very quickly. Select a floor plan view. I will select ground floor this time. Go to view, 3D view, walkthrough. We want our cameras at eye level in reference to the ground floor. Select cameras. I will do it the other way now. So put cameras around the building. Click finish. Edit walkthrough. Turn our cameras towards where we want them to be pointing. Previous keyframe. And do this for all the keyframes. And once we are done, open walkthrough. Stretch out the window a little bit to have the whole building in view. And click play. And that is all to it. Thank you for watching.